Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com and this is Jason Henderson from Burton Snowboards and these are Burton All Mountain Snowboard Boots. Hey Jason. Hey. What's up, How you buddy? doing bud? Like a jacket. Hey thanks, I keep switching my outfits. I know. It's kinda, yeah. It's kind of sweet. I might buy, I actually might buy this thing. That's just, that's what this whole thing is about, is just you trying on different clothes, right? Yeah, that's it. It was, it was uh, we're not shooting the videos for a YouTube channel for you guys to understand more product. We're shooting the video so I get to try everything on that's in the store. Mm -hmm. And then I can decide what I want to buy. Yeah. That's why. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. Uh, thanks for being here, everybody. Uh, these are a part of the All Mountain category of boots from Burton. There's a lot within the line. We've kind of singled out three of them. The Imperial, the Driver X, and the SLX. Uh, Jason is an expert in product and equipment. And he's going to kind of like teach us a few little things about their differences, similarities, and why they fall into the All Mountain category. Yeah, um, I mean, like we kind of talked about, you know, we always talk about every year is just like, you know, you can use any boot for any situation. Right. You know, it's just that, you know, typically the customers that are gravitating towards these boots ride, you know, a little bit more the whole mountain. Right. You know, can you take all these boot boots in the park? Yes. You know, <laughs> you can take them all in the backcountry? Yes. yes. It just, it all depends on what you really like in a boot. Right. So, uh, but typically a more all mountain free ride boot is going to be a little stiffer. Mm -hmm. uh, more supportive, you know, it's going to be better at higher speeds, it's going to cut through a lot of chop and chunder and, you know, um, you know, things like that. It's just going to, you know, give you better control over the board at higher speeds, you know, and, and varying conditions. Right. So, um, and really what you get is you go up in price, you're going to get something that's uh, can be more durable, you're going to get things that are lighter weight, things that fit better, you know, different uh, lacing options and dampening, and there's, there's just a lot that goes into, into boots in general. Right. So. Right. And I think, uh, you know, the All Mountain category seems to be the most kind of tech uh, mm -hmm. style of boots too. Like you were saying, like rebound properties, uh, B3 gel, shock absorbers, support panels and things yep. of that sort. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, a couple of cool similarities of the boots are the, all the liners are uh, thermal heat moldable. Mm -hmm. All the shells and outsoles have shrinkage footprint reduction technology, which reduces the size this, for instance, size 10 boot mm -hmm. and leaves an imprint of the snow of a size 9, which is nice. Like a typical 9, yeah. Of a typical, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so they all share some things, but they're all vastly different, too. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of things that are just, you know, go throughout the Burton boot line. You know, total comfort construction with, you know, we slide the laces back, a little wider toe box. Um, right. You know, it doesn't pinch your toes as much, mm -hmm. uh, cause, or allows it to break in a little easier. Mm -hmm. Uh, one to one lasting throughout the, the boot line. So, you know, for every hole and half size, so like uh, even in our half sizes, like a, let's say a 10 and a half, you're getting a 10 and a half shell, 10 and a half liner, 10 and a half outsole, 10 and a half tongue. Instead of like, you know, 10 and a half liner shoved into an 11 shell. You know, it's <laughs> yeah. just, it's, it's, it's expensive on the production side of things, but right. you know, we just, we do that to, mm -hmm. to make things better, so. Right, um, well starting out with that thing, uh, it's one yeah. of my favorite color options yeah, it's of, really cool. of the lineup. Uh, that's uh, the Imperial. Yep. This is year two? Is this year two of the Imperial or year three? No, no, the Imperial's been maybe six or seven. Six? Really? Yeah, Imperial's yeah. been around for a long time. Wow. I know uh, our, one of our uh, head staff photographers, uh, Je Stefan Jendi, mm -hmm. I think he rides the Imperial because they have really good tread. So when yep. he's shooting photos out in the wilderness, mm -hmm. you know, he can stay warm and, and actually walk. Yeah, and that's kind of one thing that we kind of made us put these kind of in this, you know, kind of all mountain categories. It does have the Vibram uh, Eco Step outsole. So, you know, Vibram just track, you know, really good deep treads. They last a long time. You know, they're going to be good over rocks and just good traction in snow. Right. Um, you know, they call it Eco Step because it is, you know, made out of 50% uh, reground recycled rubber. So um, we kind of just always thought of this as like a, a half a step down in flex from the, like the Ion, kind of a little brother to the Ion. Okay. So, but still really good, you know, support to it, a lot of tech features. So the S4 panel, uh, kind of, it's the uh, same material they use in the outer skin of golf balls, so it doesn't break down. You know, right. It just uh, adds a lot of durability and support to the boot. You know, that's where the straps sit, so it kind of, you know, it kind of puts that over a, a larger surface area. Um, does have the imprint three liner, so again, heat moldable. Um, does have 
the dry ride heat cycle on the inside that regulates the body temperature. It also grips the fibers of your sock, gives you better heel hold, um, give you a really good footbed in there too with the, the plastic support and the arches and the heels so your your heels aren't collapsing and everything under pressure, you know, which, um, you know, the when your bones are distorted, that's what causes a lot of foot pain and things right. like that. Cramping so, stuff. yeah, and then, um, you know, also the cuff on the inside too, it's a, uh, a cuff that wraps around the liner, uh, really good uh, fusion between the liner and the shell. Mm -hmm. um, if you need, and if you have a narrow, uh, narrow ankle, a narrow heel pocket, um, you can put the J bars on the inside. Bert will send these to you. You can Velcro them in. They uh, narrow up the heel cup. I've never had to use them personally, just because the internal ones work fine for me. But right. um, not everybody's feet is different, so okay. it, you get some some customizing capabilities there. Mm -hmm. So now, kind of a, a shift into a different direction, it, besides uh, going from the Imperial into the Driver X, is uh, one bridge that that gaps them is is this. This is the, the footbed, mm -hmm. uh, external arch support, ESS support shank, mm -hmm. a little bit of 3D molding to it perforations, uh, but you, you kind of step into a different realm of snowboarding, I think, within the all mountain category on the Driver X. Uh, yeah, this is the stiffest boot. Uh, <laughs> Period. <laughs> yes, ever, out of anything in the entire boot history. Nothing no. else. <laughs> um, yeah, aside from mountaineering boots. Um, <laughs> So this is the, definitely the stiffest, uh, you know, snowboard boot out there. So, um, you know, guys that are running border cross, um, you know, guys that are running, you know, really stiff cambered boards, they want something, you know, big mountain, you know, that, that really want to put the landing gear down. This is definitely the boot for them. Right. So. so. B3 gel, Bieber Mozzo, and a, a unique liner too. This is called the Imprint 3X. Yeah, let's, uh, we added a little bit extra thicker paneling on the outside here. Uh, these power panels, which adds a lot of rebound mm -hmm. and uh, stiffness to the boot. Um, so that's really it just adding just a little bit extra stiffness to it. Uh, the, the shell on this, it does have that uh, tough cuff on the inside. So we added some extra plastic, uh, right. like basically heat moldable plastic that'll form to the bone structure of your feet. So what that does is it just gives you, um, you know, better, uh, better support as well. Right. So, right. and also, you know, the back stay on this boot is really stiff. It's almost like a high back in itself. Mm. <laughs> right. There's only one boot you could ride without high backs. It could be this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, right. um, but just, yeah, overall, just a really stiff, super supportive boot. That could be a, that could be a fun play in a new video that we do. Mm -hmm. Maybe we tried, that's what we're going to try to do. If we have the demo boots in a size 11, yeah. let's, let's pull some high backs off some boots and ride the... See the, which ones make the least difference. Right, yeah. that's a good idea. So, uh, one thing too is on some of our boots you see is, uh, it's called power up tongue. Yep. So it's an extra insert in the tongue made out of that plastic too that, um, so when you, you know, put a curved piece in there and it gets all laced up, that becomes a lot stiffer as well. A lot more rigid, mm -hmm. wow. Yep. Um, and then the SLX, this is on top of the hierarchy pyramid. Yeah, this is our highest end boot. There is um, none greater. Yeah, there's definitely a, um, definitely a big, uh, like, I'd say kind of shift upwards in uh, technology and things like that. Uh, it does have the ultra weave. So again, the ultra weave, what that does is it reduces the overall paneling, reduces the weight, but doesn't, you know, sacrifice any, any weight or anything, or sorry, any uh, durability. Right. Um, we've got this new Carbotex material. It's like basically carbon that's inlaid into uh, the fabric itself in right. these in this high pressure area. Right. Know, this area where the strap hits, you know, that's where a lot of the boots wear. Right. Um, we just, you know, identify that as a you know, kind of a, I shouldn't say a problem area, but you know, definitely an area that we like to focus on in our right. boots for durability mm -hmm. and support. You know, and if we have a you know a soft area there, that and strap is down, and it's right. digging in. You know, so we want to you know definitely even that out. Mm -hmm. Um, you also go to this, it is the articulated cuff. The smooth so, glide articulation. Yeah, a little, little bit more of a smoother forward flex. You know, boots with, uh, boots with this uh, articulated cuffs, the more you lean forward on them, the, it almost seems like it drives your heels into the back more. Yeah. It's, a, it's kind of a progressive feel mm -hmm. almost there. So uh, it's got the tough cuff on the inside, uh, power up tongue. Um, you know, all the boots have, with the exception of one Burton boot, is uh, they do have that sleeping bag. Reflective foil. It's, yeah, so it keeps the heat in the boots. Extra B3 gel, uh, Vibram outsole. Um, so that, that's kind of the. That's the one. And that's just in the shell. So you give me the liner. So 
<laughs> How much more are you going to yeah. talk for? Just keep going. <laughs> so um, the Lifeliner Plus on this. So the Lifeliners have the highest quality heat moldable EVA available from any vendor in the world. So I, I, You know what's funny? Uh, you mentioned that in another uh, section that we saw, shot, yeah. and I did not know that. I knew it was a high, it was a high end EVA thermal mm -hmm. heat moldable. Yeah, not all of it's the same, and this is mm -hmm. like the highest, you know, it, it's really light. Uh, we, can, we perforate it too, so it's really breathable, keeps right. your feet dry. Right. Um, so, you know, if your feet are allowed to, to breathe more, the drier they are. Right. Do your feet sweat a lot when you ride? Oh, yeah. I think, you know, mine, my my feet sweat. Yeah, I mean, in those you know five degree days, they probably they don't as much. But Not as just, much. I mean, man, twenty right. degrees on up, your your feet are sweating. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, extra cushioning on the bottom. The the tongue on the Lifeliners have a. It is actually like kind of that uh, open cell foam, cool. kind of like our old Infinite Ride liners. So what that does is that adds a lot of rebound and a lot of, you know, liveliness to the liner. Right. Um, and then the kind of the our highest end uh, footbed on there too. So a little extra cushion right in that heel, but still the, kind of that stiffer uh, mm -hmm. area for the arch support in the heel there. So a little more comfortable yet. It sure is nice. You know, and it looks like, you know, the whole sneaker sneaker collection thing, you know, mm -hmm. people have been doing for a while. You know, like yeah. the, people like original retro Jordans, right? Mm -hmm. This This looks to be a boot that could be within that category within snowboarding like 20 years down the line people are going to look back at this specific 2020 mm -hmm. slx and go you know that was a really really good mm -hmm. design year and i i really stand by that yeah i think uh that's you know i, I regret throwing away and getting rid of and passing on some mm -hmm. boots and i think yeah. this is one this yeah. is one design aspect wise yeah. that's really going to stand out yeah that's a good one uh, another thing too with you know kind of these all mountain boots that were um, at least the uh, SLX and the Driver X, um, is that these have our ramp soles. They have that six degree ramp to them, kind of like a, a cross trainer shoe, right. you know, where like, a, you know, the Imperial that you've seen in other categories, which this boot kind of is a good all around boot, has the EST sole. Right. You know, like the Ions, you know, a lot of the boots have EST soles, which means it's a flat sole, like a skate shoe. Right. So depending right. on how you want to be on the board, you know, like I personally like the EST feel, but there's a lot of people that you know that ride the that like that kind of athletic stance that the, the SLX or, or the Driver X will give you. I remember the first time I rode uh, a boots that had a, had a toe drop, you know, like mm -hmm. like an inclined heel. Yeah. And uh, I felt so much more powerful on my heel side edge because I it felt as if I was already a little bit more mm -hmm. acute, and then add in you know more forward lean and it's a nice feel, especially if you like carving around. Mm -hmm. Like for for me at least yeah. it was. And you it was ride nice. a lot of forward lean too. I ride a lot so of forward really lean. Yep. Yeah, but for the last, you know, last couple of years, I think I've been mostly on boots that feature, you know, flat or EST outsole or, or like a flat, uh, yeah. flat sole. Yeah. Yep. These are great though. They, they, they both have their pluses and minuses. I that's mean, right. that's why I make them both. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, if, which one, which one do you think you'd spend the most time on for your style of riding that you, that you do? For me personally, I would go Imperial. Because it's not, it's, because it's not crazy stiff. Okay. Um, it's stiff enough to be supportive for the, you know, all the riding and jumping and, you know, all the, you know, even the riding I do like out west and, you know, backcountry, that sort of thing, it's stiff enough just for that. Um, and I personally like the, um, the EST outsole. So if I could have my, you know, if I could build my own boot, I would put this, I would put an EST sole on that. Put an EST sole on this SLX. That would be my. Right. If, if I could take all the pieces, yeah. <laughs> that's what it would be. That'd be me. But. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for thanks for walking us through each yeah. of these boots. All melon category is great. You know, there's other boots within the Burton lineup that that kind of fall into that category. Category, but again, we want to kind of showcase some really key pieces that stand out: the Imperial, the Driver X, and the SLX. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason, thanks again for being here, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. Glad to be here. Yeah, uh, glad to have you again. We're at the Burton Minneapolis store in Uptown in Minneapolis. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want to check out these boots, do so by selecting the link below in the description. Leave a comment or question. Let us know what you think of the boots. Subscribe to the channel there. Check out more vids there. And hopefully, we'll see you guys on snow. Peace. Blah, 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 blah.